Okay, just a quick update. Uh, if you saw the last video, I was looking at uh, one of these uh, ESP82661 E's. There's actually some extra pins down on that lower front face that gives some uh, uh, SPI headers, and in there is two more GPIO. So it's two more GPIO than the regular ESP12. And what I'm hooking up right now is a wonderful little board. Um, you can get them all over eBay, of course, but uh, I got this one from from uh, Alice. Um, pretty, I think, pretty usual place for us to get our stuff from online these days. Um, and what it is, it's a buck converter, and coming in on the uh, the left is 13.8 volts. Okay, about that. On my old Radio Shack multimeter. It's actually my Kronto, which was a house brand. I actually bought this uh, this meter. I think I think I was working for them for a couple years already, because I worked for Radio Shack for quite some time. Anyhow, my Greenlee shows the output that I have it currently dialed to. So it's currently bucking 13 volts down to 3.28, and it's been holding pretty good. I've been watching this for a little while. And uh, if I had the adapter for this Greenlee so I could track it on a computer, because apparently it has a serial out, um, I could have been tracing this on my laptop or whatever just to watch it, but it's, it's, it hasn't gone from uh, 3.28, and I'm really not really worried about the uh, third decimal place here. Just moving a wire can change that. But uh, pretty much this little board is going to mount underneath... Oop, lost the focus there. It's going to mount underneath the uh, Wi-Fi breakout board. And uh, that'll allow me to power this thing from pretty much anything under 20 volts. It's actually, I think, 22 volts on input. Or, and it can output anything between, uh, I think, 1.8 volts and uh, 20 volts, depending on the input. Um, it's actually quite cold. It's just, just a tiny bit warm warmer than my finger not even hardly but I'm not really drawing anything from it but it's certainly at an output rated of 3 amps it's certainly going to provide enough for um, the ESP module the other thing that I was playing with was uh, something that uh, a few of you I'm sure have figured out and I'm just going to put right here is uh, a 3 volt regulator hopefully that'll auto focus there it's a 3 volt regulator that uh, I've put on a header and uh, I can then just stick that into a breadboard or, or test it and I've been testing the wiring on that little breadboard there um, just checking that things work and with the different capacitors and I do the same thing with the capacitor I'll take a couple of my tiny capacitors and solder them to a pin header so I can just pop them on a breadboard and make sure it stays nice and uh, nice and stable. So what I'm probably going to do is run this uh, buck converter and it should be plenty good enough for uh, for that. I don't even think I'll need a regulator after that. Um, but I'll have to try it with some varying voltage and see see how that comes out. And, uh, once I've run this for a little while then I will be uh, hooking this little module here up to uh, some inputs and outputs and basically this will be sort of like a, a generic development board where I can program this one and then once that one's set up, I can um, program the other one that I've got made up in the baggie here. And look at uh, getting some the home automation plans and security things that I'd planned with that. And possibly even with uh, this little module, I might be able to uh, install one in the car and have the uh, car talk to the house when they're close enough. Anyhow, that's a small update, and thank you for watching.